all of you. In part 1, I already drew this character. Today in part 2, I will attach bones to this character. Last time, in part 1, I drew the shirt and arms together in the same layer. But in part 2, I have split it into two separate layers, so that rig will be easier for you. And the rest are the same. Now, we will attach the bones to characters. Left click on the character group, then right click and choose convert to bone. Click the add bone tool with the shortcut A, to create bones for the character. First, we create the main bone. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse to the right. Next, we create bone in the buttock. In the body I create two bones that divide the body into two. Next is the neck bone, the head bone and the top of the hair. The top bones of the hair will connect to the head bone. This eyebrow I will create two bones. Same with the right eyebrow I also create two bones. The part of the eyebrow bone will connect with the tailbone of the eyebrow. And this part of the tailbone will connect with the head bone. Next is the eye bone. Dot you click on the head bone to make the link available. Then press the shortcut A to draw the bone. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse up. Then name the newly drawn bone. Press the A key and left click to create two pin bones for the left and right eyeballs. These two pin bones will connect to the eyeball bone. Next is the hand bones. I will draw a shoulder bone here. Press the B key, left click and select the upper body bone to make the link available. Then press the shortcut A, left click, hold and drag the mouse to the left. For the biceps part, I'm going to create extra midpoints, so it's easier to create more pins from the midpoints. Hold down the Alt button and right click on the character's biceps. This function will automatically select the layer for you. Then press the G key, click on split, more points will automatically generate more for you. I will create a pin bone in the middle of the shoulder, Next is in the middle of the arm. And the last pinpoint on the hand part. Link these pin bone points together like this. Next I will create the normal bones for the arm. Use this midpoint as the base of the bones. Click on this midpoint to create cord 1. Then press the G key and scan through these points to get their positions. In the position dialog you copy these parameters and paste them into cord 2. Select the character's bone file and click on set bone to create a bone. Similarly the shoulder bone and the rest of the bones are the same.
After creating the normal bones, these points should be deleted so as not to affect the quality and cause difficulties for you. If a normal bone goes with any pin bone, please connect it with that pin bone. Press the B key click on this bone and then press the P key click on this pin bone to link them together. Please pay attention to this part. Press the B key and choose one random pin bone as the middle pin. This bone name is B21. Then I choose the wrist bone. I want this bone to follow the shoulder bone, and the two bones are bound together. So I'll make a binding for it. I do the same with the remaining bones. You just need to remember, point two opposite bones will bind each other. Press the S key and hold down the left mouse button to drag it to the left to lower the affected area to zero. So the bone in the left arm is done. Do the same for the bone in the right arm. I forgot to draw the bones in the hand part. Press the B key and click on the pin bone at the wrist, to make the link available, and press the A key, hold down the left mouse button, then drag down to create the hand bone. Do the same with the right hand bone. Continue to do the binding of the bones together similar to the left hand.
double checking that the bone links are correct. All linked properly. Next is the leg bones. Here my leg bones will connect with the butt bones. Select this upper point as cord 1 and this lower point as cord 2. Then select the character file and click and set bone to create bones. Calf bone are the same. The foot bone, I will create it. Press the B key to click on the calf bone. Then press the A key. Click the left mouse button. Hold and drag the left mouse button to create the bone. For feet bone I will create two bones, and small extra bones at the ankle and mid joint so that when you rotate the foot you will move these points easier. These bones are optional, it doesn't affect anything. Do the same with the other leg. Press the B key and hold shift to select these two bones then press the P key and click on the butt bone to create a link. The calf bone is connected to the thigh bone. And finally I will create target bones for the two legs. Press A to create a bone, and it won't connect to any bones. I will name the two newly created bones so you can easily distinguish them. Press the B key click on the calf bone to create a bond with the target bone. I choose these four bones, and increase this parameter so I can pull out the bone guide easily. I select these two feet bones and turn on this function so that the character stands in balance with the ground. Now, we will bind points all these layers with the bones we create. Hold Alt and right click on the image you want to bind. Then press B key and click on that bone. Press I then select the points that need bind points. Do the same with all the remaining points.
This is a group I will bind it to a group. Select the group and click on the bind layer tool, then click on the bone you want to bind. For the eye I would bind the eyeball to the eyeball bone. The outer eye part is the mask I will bind to the character's head. Do the same to the rest of the groups and layers. For the hair part, I will bind the hair tip points to the bone. So that, when I turn on dynamic, it will help these hair tips move better. This is the parameter I chose and it works well for me. Next I will create smart bones for the character. First is the bone for head turn. Press the B key and left click on any white area around the character to deselect the bone. Then press the A key and hold and drag the left mouse up to create a bone. Name this bone. Click here to show the bone name. Click here to create a width of the bone. This width you can adjust to your liking. But I think smaller is better. I made the action for this bone in 24 frames per second. Or you can choose more or less frames. Press the T key and click on the skull bone. In the intermediate frame I will flip the skull to the opposite direction using the side flip tool. You should lower the head bones a bit to create a bounce when the character rotates their head. I think it looks better that way. In the last frame let this bone return to its original length. Click on the reset box. I just finished the character head turn. Next. Press B again. Click on any white space and press A again to create smart bones for the character. Left click where you want to put the bone, and give the new bone a name. I will create bones around and link to this bone. So I'll give them a name. For 
For the character's eyes I'm going to create an extra layer. This layer makes it easier to make eye expressions. Click on the drawing toolkit and draw the shape you want. Then I copy and paste the other eye layer. Remember to bind it to the skull bone. The eye on this side is bigger, so I'll make this layer a bit bigger. I turn this off, so that the eye outline is not exposed. I'll show you how, my left eye just turned off. And my right eye hasn't turned it off yet so it still shows the outline around. Now I will turn off the right eye outline. Double click the left mouse button. Select the item masking then click uncheck the box exclude strokes. Apply and OK to finish. Let's make eye action. In the first action I will make the character's eyes closed. The next eye actions is the same, just adjust the vector to your liking.
The eye is done. Now I will do the eyebrow action. Create smart bones like the smart bones of the eyes I just made. Eyebrows have joints so you can easily shape them. I just finished the character's eyebrow action. Now I'm going to modify the character's head rotation a bit. When the character rotates their head I will have the character close their eyes and open them when the head rotation is complete. Looks better. To change the mouth styles for the characters, I'll make more mouth bones. I moved these bones up a bit higher. Here I have four different mouth shapes. Let's calculate the equal distance and divide it by 4. I will make one more mouth scale bone.
continue to make smart bones for hands, to change hand shapes easily and quickly. Let's see how many hands there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we have 7 different hands. Create an action for the bones of your hand, evenly dividing the distance between your hands. Click on the hand group, then right click. A list of hands will appear, left click on the order of the hands you want to change. Then copy the action just done to the left hand and paste the action to the right hand. That's the fastest way. Before pasting on the right hand, you also have to create the bones for the right hand and do the same as the left hand. Then paste the action on the left hand side to the right hand. Our character is done. My English grammar is not good. So, if there are any mistakes, please forgive me. Thank you for your attention.